three things you need to prove medical malpractice claims are liability or negligence, causation, that the negligence caused, and then the damages. And the burden of proof is on the plaintiff in each instance. You also, to bring any claim for wrongful death in medical malpractice, you need a survivor, which is a surviving spouse or a child under the age of 25. It's the most unfair statute there is, but that's the only way you can bring a malpractice claim for wrongful death. As far as bringing the claim itself with the three things, you have to pre-suit the claim. You have to have the same specialty for the person that committed the negligence or the doctor or healthcare provider that committed the negligence. So, for instance, if you have an orthopedic surgeon that does spine surgery, you can't use a neurosurgeon that does spine surgery. It used to be you could. Now you have to go specialty for specialty. The problem is it lets healthcare providers go off the reservation. So, for instance, if you have an obstetrician who decides to do plastic surgery and they do the plastic surgery negligently, you have to go get an obstetrician that does plastic surgery. There are very few that do that, and it makes it extremely difficult. And that was legislation that was passed a few years ago. So that's the negligence side. In pre-suit, you also have to have an affidavit that says there was negligence that caused the damages. If there's negligence, the next fight for the plaintiff side is causation, proving that the outcome was different despite the negligence. And that's always our, hurt, our hurdle, our burden, and then the damages. The damages are usually readily visible or readily provable, but to show that the negligence caused it is where the difficulty in malpractice lies.